and they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Summers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. And this right here, this 1962 Sears Silvertone guitar is the first guitar I ever owned. I got it when I was 10 years old, right out of the Sears Roebuck catalog. Uh, and I remember spending uh, a lot of time with this uh, old, old guitar. It hasn't been played much. This is the first time I've got, gotten it out of the case in uh, well over a year, maybe two years. Uh, as a matter of fact, this guitar disappeared from my life uh, from the uh, early 1970s until uh, my younger brother died in 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, and over that 30 year period, I had no idea where this guitar was. Well, it turned out my brother had been keeping it for me and um, it was in his closet that we found right after he died. And I'll never forget this. The, the lesson I learned on this is the importance of knowing what you want. What is it you want? So many friends of mine started playing the guitar in the early 1960s uh, and most of them quit. And with this guitar, I learned the chords. That's what I was playing. That's the chords to uh, Blowing in the Wind, the Bob Dylan song. How many roads must a man tra travel down before he becomes a man? And uh, I remember playing that and strumming it and learning all those chords on the guitar and thinking how hard it was. I wanted to quit. And then someone told me an old story, and I don't even know who this is about, what guitarist, uh, who, uh, who quit playing. Uh, and this guitarist had a dream uh, that uh, he was whisked up by an angel or a spirit of some sort and taken to a large auditorium where 1,500 people were seated quietly watching one person on the stage playing person was playing all by himself beautifully on the guitar and uh, this guitarist asked the angel or the spirit who is that up there and the angel said this is 20 years into the future and that's you on stage if you keep practicing you have to practice to get to that point and that story inspired me and so I stopped strumming chords play the guitar in front of 1,500 people or more, uh, usually uh, in a worship setting, but not always. And uh, it does take practice to get where you want. And it's important knowing what you want to do. I've taught guitar lessons for decades, uh, and people pick it up with great enthusiasm and then quit. People do all sorts of things for a short time and then get frustrated and quit. Uh, and so, in the spiritual world, though, the Lord gives us the energy and the enthusiasm that we need to serve and follow Him. And it's so important that we make up our mind each day to continue to walk in His path. I was reading in the Sermon on the Mount this morning from uh, Matthew chapter 6, where Jesus says, uh, No one can serve two masters. You can't. You will either love the one and hate the other or hate the one and love the other. You can't do it. Likewise, you cannot serve God and mammon or money uh, in this world. Uh, Pope Francis put it a different way. Uh, you have a choice of heaven or hell and you can't choose both. It's your choice. Uh, in the similar way, we get up each day and we either remember that God loves us and that he's calling us forward uh, to be closer to Him and gives us what we need, or we don't think of that. And it's important that we do. Uh, I've started asking people when they come to confession if they want to go to heaven. And, you know, uh, Scripture's clear. You know, we have two pathways to go. 
either deeper into the world's value system and culture and uh, values, or we follow the Lord's path. It's two different pathways. It's a crossroads every morning when we get up, one of two directions. And I start asking people, do you want to go to heaven? And the answer is always yes. And I said, well, what are you willing to do to get there? Are you willing to walk the path that's set before you? It's not an easy path. Life is not easy for many people today. The world is a hard place, but God is still good. All the time, God is good and he's still in charge. Choose his path today and uh, know what you want. And follow him. Let him direct you. Talk to him. Read his book. It's still a bestseller. Um, and it's still available and easy in whatever language you want to read it in. It's there. And like this old guitar, it doesn't sound very good anymore. later. God bless you today. Have a great day. Be careful outside. It's very hot down here in the south. Uh, and follow the way of the Lord and let him lead you. He knows the way to get where he wants you to be. I'll see you here, God willing, tomorrow.